Good morning and welcome to Rose Red Homestead, where today is our very first weigh-in video. It is weigh-in number one. And I'm going to report to you right now the results of this week for me in terms of my weight loss. Here is my little chart. And you may remember that the numbers here represent weight lost, the number of pounds lost down to 50 right here. And across the top is week one, week two, all the way over to week 25. When I fill this one up, when I get to week 25, then I'm going to have to do another one of these and continue on. When I stepped on the scale this morning, I was pretty excited. I am down three pounds, and that's what this blue square is. And I hope going forward as the weeks go by that, that blue, the blue squares continue in a downward pattern. Now, I need to give a little caveat about that weight loss. I have hardly ever lost three pounds in one week before. But two weeks ago, I had some oral surgery, and I was required to stay on, well, I called it baby food, but it was soft foods for a week. Most of the time, I just ate those little pudding cups, cup after cup after cup as I was hungry. And I'm sure that was not really good for my weight. And last week, as I began this program, I'm sure my body rejoiced at having real food again, which probably helped with that weight loss. One more thing I want to report on is that in terms of the four things that I am not electing to include in my uh, weight management plan this time, I was able to stay completely away from three of them, but I will own up to drinking two Dr. Peppers last week. That's a far cry from the two a day that I averaged prior to that, and I will continue to confess if that happens again. In terms of exercise, pretty much a bust. I probably, on, on day two, I was up and down a ladder. I'll show you our project right over here. We've had a roof leak that we have battled for 12 years, and we think we finally hired the right person to fix it, and it has damaged this wall behind me. Now, I do a little bit of sheetrocking. I learned how to do that when my first husband and I built our own adobe home, and I learned how to do sheetrocking fixing. And so I was up and down the ladder for, uh, oh, two or three hours, uh, working on this on day two of this week. By day four, Jim had found time in his very busy schedule to make adjustments to our bikes, get the tires uh, pumped up and so that we could start bike riding. And then we couldn't find our helmets. They were nowhere to be found. For two days, we looked high and low for them. And then finally we found them. They were on the riding lawnmower in the garage. I don't know why I didn't think to look there. We have no clue how they got there. And so we have not done any bike riding. I tried walking a couple of days and got rained on. And I am determined, even though this was not a good week for exercise, my mantra is, I will do better next time. <laughs> we will be more successful this coming week. I interrupt this video for an important announcement. I neglected to let you know that in honor of the launch of our Way In series, we are putting this book, which is 24 plain and fancy protein bowl recipes that my sister Cindy and I wrote on sale in our bookstore for a one-time only price of 30% off. And it will be for three days only. And it starts on Memorial Day, the 29th of May, and goes Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday through the 31st until 5 p.m. Mountain Time. So that is in honor of all of us who are eating more healthy. These recipes do a special thing. There are 24 recipes, but really there are 12. One of them uses ingredients that you can buy in the stores today. And then um, that's the one that Cindy wrote and then followed by her recipe is my recipe for how we can use a um, reasonable approach to the very same recipe using food storage ingredients. If you are interested, this is a great time to check out that book. The second thing I want to weigh in about is how to solve a problem with breakfast that I have faced in my 24 years of marriage to Jim. Uh, with my weight management situation, Jim has always been a wonderful support and has just eaten the meals, whatever I eat, he generally eats, except for breakfast. 
he doesn't like to eat breakfast. That is how he does his weight control. And let me tell you, it works. He can skip breakfast for a couple of days and be down 17 pounds. Well, not quite, but you know. In any case, I can entice him to breakfast whenever I fix bacon. But there are a lot of times when I say, honey, do you want breakfast? And he'll say no. And then I'm just at a loss. Do I want to... Do I want to fix eggs for one person? Do I want to cook cereal for one person? And I just don't have it in me to want to do that. And so what do I do instead? Either I skip breakfast, which I don't like to do, and I know it's not good for me, or I just pick something for a snack and do a snack breakfast. Well, my solution to this problem of needing to have a breakfast when Jim doesn't want a breakfast has just taken a new turn. I'm going to weigh in with you now on what I do for breakfast because I'm not going to skip breakfast. I'm going to make some breakfast parfaits and keep them in the refrigerator so that if Jim doesn't want breakfast on a particular morning, I can just pull out one of those parfaits and not even think about, oh, what shall I fix, what shall I fix? I'm going to demonstrate three of them today for you, three different types, and you can make adjustments to these. They are, there are endless adjustments that you can make but I'm going to give you three ideas. Here are the ingredients that I have set out that we're going to be working with. Faye yogurt, 0% fat, low fat cottage cheese, and then I have three in the uh, nut and grain category. These are chia seeds. This is a salad topper, plant-based salad topper that has uh, craisins in it and sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and so it's a healthy thing too. And then this, ancient grains granola, uh, probiotic granola that I found at Costco. Now I make a wonderful granola. It has too much sugar in it for me at this point in time. This one has far less sugar. There is a lot of protein here, a little bit of protein here. On this side, I have the fresh fruits except for the pineapple, which is a, a jar, a pint of our canned, home canned pineapple. I'm going to be using these things in combination to create three different types of um, parfaits. Another thing that I did as a time-saving effort is that I took all of these foods. These are the major foods that I'm going to be using for my parfaits. And it would might be a good idea for you to think about, if you're going to do this, the typical ingredients that you're going to use. And then um, I made myself a little cheat sheet just on this note paper that tells me uh, per half cup or quarter cup or three quarter cup measures, depending how much protein does the yogurt have, does the cottage cheese have, do these three things have. So I don't keep having to look it up every single time. And then the other thing that I did was I'm using these little jars. These are WECK, W-E-C-K. I've done canning in these. I have lots of videos on WECK jars. On the back, I measured the amounts of, of different things that I wanted in here, and I made a little mark on the side of the jar so I don't have to measure every single time. I'll fill it up to here, then fill it up to here, then fill it up to here. And because I know that this is going to come off in the dishwasher, I made this little template, and it is... The top part of a sticky with a sticky stuff on the back. And so when I get ready to fill up a jar, I can just stick this right here on the back with the arrow facing up, and I have those same marks. And then I peel this off and put it on the next jar. That way I don't have to worry about making marks on the jar. And I keep this stuck to the inside of a drawer over here so I have it handy. Let's get going on these three different types that I'm going to show you. The first one involves um, this Faye yogurt, which from my taste is the best tasting plain zero fat yogurt. And opinions certainly will differ on that. But we all need to just use what we want to use. And um, I'm going to use the glass that has the markings on the side in the bottom goes the yogurt and it's a quarter of a cup of yogurt and 
you try <laughs> to keep the sides of the jar clean. Tamping it down. And then is um, yogurt, not yogurt. Next is the granola. And I'm just using this as a scoop. Then more yogurt. And then we're going to top that with some of this fruit. This fruit has been washed and it's ready to go. Here are some luscious blackberries. I'm going to cut a strawberry and um, fortunately I have a new pull-out waste basket that's right here which makes it so convenient. And I would vary the fruit. You could put bananas and apples or whatever it is that you wanted in here. Then when that is done, this lid goes back on and you can, and, I, and notice how it pushed the yogurt up into the fruit. This is now ready for the refrigerator and is so easy, easy to just pull out and eat it. Isn't that pretty? A cup, this is just a tad over a cup. So you could use any kind of a jar you wanted, including a, an eight ounce canning jar. It would hold about the same. And that is just about as much as I could eat of this type of food for breakfast. We used a half a cup of Faye, which is 12 grams. We used a granola, which is two grams of protein. So we have 14 grams of protein right here. Not quite a 30 gram breakfast. I'm gonna do another video on to share with you what it is I pair with this to get it up to 30 grams. So that's one. We'll set that aside. The next one calls for some mixing. I need to measure out a half a cup of yogurt. And then I have a splash of milk, I think it's about a couple of tablespoons. And I'm going to put in a quarter of a cup of this granola. Going to mix this together. Thinning down the yogurt quite a bit with that milk. And that milk adds like maybe one gram, between one and two grams of protein. One teaspoon of chia seed. I'm fairly new to using chia seed in things. I've read a lot about it. It is highly, it's very nutrient dense. This doesn't give us more than about one gram of protein, um, but it has amazing qualities. It swells up, becomes softer, and it will thicken this mixture. So we had to thin down the yogurt so the chia could thicken it up. <laughs> and then I'm going to put about half of this mixture in the bottom of my parfait jar. And I messed up the side. Then I'm going to put a layer of raspberries and you can layer whatever you like here. Peaches would be fabulous. And finish it up. And some blueberries on the top. So this is red, white, and blue, good for the 4th of July. And so there's this one. If I were a little bit more careful, it would have been a little bit prettier. So there are those. Again, with this one, we used half a cup of the Faye, which was 12 grams. We used a quarter of a cup of granola, which was two grams. So that's a total of 14 grams. And with the chia, that's about another one gram. So we have 15 grams in this one right here of protein. A word about the granola in each of these. In this first one that we did, the granola is between layers of yogurt. And for the most part, it will stay crunchy. 
in this one with the chia seeds, the granola is mixed up with the yogurt and therefore is going to absorb some of the moisture. So it will be much softer. Um, I actually had one of these this morning for breakfast and I did not mind. It was, it was nice to have that granola just a little bit softer. The downside for me with this one is those darn chia seeds are just like raspberry seeds and strawberry seeds. They get in my teeth. But, you know, we have to put up with a little bit of rainfall in our lives. The next one uses cottage cheese, which is another one of the foods that I really quite enjoy. So I'm going to put, and this is low-fat cottage cheese, I'm putting about three quarters of a cup right in here. And to that, I am going to add some pineapple, our home canned pineapple. And I'm going to stir this up. Pineapple and cottage cheese, yum yum. And fill this jar On the top of this one, I'm going to give it a layer of this salad topping, which is seeds and craisins. This is really yummy. Um, I get this. I've gotten it online. I also, uh, on Amazon actually, I also have gotten it at uh, Costco. It is plant-based salad topper by Nature Source, N-A-T-U-R, without the E source. This one is ready for its lid. And even though everything is all mixed together, it is still very pretty with that nut topping on it. We use three quarters of a cup of cottage cheese, uh, 19 grams of protein. And then with the little salad topper is about one gram of protein. So this is 20 grams of protein. So this has more protein than either of the other two. So there they are. This is a good start to any morning. And actually they would be good for lunch as well. And they just have to add an additional something to bring it up to 30 grams. And that will be the focus of our next weigh-in video. Thank you for joining us for this weigh-in. And I wish you all the best of luck, those of you that are on this journey with me. Yay, we can do this a little step at a time. And some of those steps are going to be backwards and we can just count on it. But we're going to be undaunted and we're going to press forward. That's our motto, press forward. So we'll see you next time.